Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. A lot has changed for the channel since the last episode, as hopefully I have the technological ability to show off. Hopefully, I have a camera set up, and you can actually see me as I play. That will hopefully... I know I've been saying a lot of hopefullys, but uh, I haven't been... I haven't recorded with the Elgato and OBS yet, and so I'm a... And, and audacity for that fact and so i'm a little bit worried about how this is going to play out but at the very least i hope i can walk away with a good episode even if the camera might fail on me <sighs> last episode was a little bit short and i apologize for that uh <laughs> this entire time i've been going with a, co a commentary style a recording style where i don't pace out my episodes i'm not running timers and so <laughs> Last episode was kind of the first point where the flaws of that showed. Usually, a future pal is able to pace out episodes pretty well, um, but this was one of the few cases where I was not. What is in here? Bubble frog? I don't hear him. Ooh, is that a hearty truffle? I believe. A big hearty truffle. We haven't gotten these yet. Sweet. Uh, oh, hi. I don't know what you were doing that down there, but, you know, you came to me, and I, I respect that. So I will make your death be swift. I actually don't know. Are we killing these? I feel like I've lost the plot of the bubble frogs. Like, they're some sort of mystical creatures that we're feeding to Colton so that he can become a a Satori himself, but they're new. It's very strange, but there are bloopies inside of them. I'm kind of scared to know the truth behind it, so I think I'm just going to live on in blissful ignorance. Yeah, so uh, I noticed this cave. Uh, I Actually, as of this recording session, uh, the f last episode hasn't come out yet. It will come out in uh, two days? Two days. Since I changed my my upload schedule. Is that all that, that was there? I don't know. I feel like that was... I mean, not nothing, but... For such an out-of-the-way secret, I kind of expected there to be Misko's treasure in here. I guess not. Okay. Uh, in which case, let's just ascend out. Yeah. Yeah. So, if there were any comments that told me about that little secret that I missed, about the bubble frog, then let me know. Uh, but I saw it in post, and that's, that's what caused me to notice it. Uh, first, before we get to actual important things, let's deal with this guy. Oh, my friend and I got separated. He's up there. Did I grab my weapon? Crap! I left my weapon behind, and it's pro- it's despawned now. I dropped the pulverite, or like the, the special- construct pulverizer because it was easy to see but lo and behold I was caught up in my own intro and I didn't get it uh, okay all right it's fine it's just a weapon and that's a mighty thistle I need those sweet okay now actual important things we have uh I almost said Kaz but you we haven't seen Cass we haven't seen Cass this entire game right I wonder where he is this is just strictly better Cass. What was his quest? It's been a long time. Let's find out. Leave the RMS. According to Penn, a voice has been heard at Highland Stable at night. Witnesses say it comes from the Fural Plain to the Northwest, and it sounds like Zelda. But no one has actually seen the Mystery Woman. Accompany Penn at night and investigate the haunting voice. Okay, that's one of the quests I would like to pursue. The other one, there's a guy here. And it's raining... Wait. Is it... It's gonna be raining for a bit. Okay, so we can't do that right now. I'm gonna spend the night... Well, this person's cursing Piper's name, whoever that is. And then we're gonna accompany uh, Pen for a little night excursion. Oh. I am Melonia, the god of horses. At night, it appears. The stall horse running atop the gloom. You may see it in the field at the base of Satori Mountain. It's sounding like I need to bring a stall horse 
to the horse god? That's... That's the conclusion I'm drawing from that. Which, assuming he's in the same place, is actually kind of a big ask. Good evening, how are you? Did you hear a message? Uh, as thanks for lodging us, we we present you with one point, which I need to probably stay at a lot of the stables because I'm missing out on a lot of points here. Uh, yeah, what? There's a white horse. Lake of the horse got southeast of here and search for it there. Okay, so no, a question answered. Now, I can hardly leave my work at the stable, but I'd sure like to see what that giant white stallion, if it exists, or I'd like to see it. Uh, a, okay. So we've had a giant horse. That one wasn't... That was reddish. Yeah, so we have a giant white horse now. Uh, yeah, I'll receive whatever my reward is. That's usually pretty lame, but I'm hoping that it leads to better things. A saddle. Yeah, that's... Alright. Thanks. Bro. Whatever. Main restyling service. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, pen. Only hard at night. A pretty great night, isn't it, partner? It's around the time that eerie voice has been heard on Phil Plain to the northwest. Folks say it happens night after night after night. Could it really be Princess Zelda, though? And if it is her, why is she doing it? What acts of terrorism has she committed this time? Tune in tonight at 11 to hear you find out for yourself. I guess the only way to find out is to check for ourselves. Ready, partner? Let's do it. I will ride you. Let's head for the Fuhrer Plane to the Northwest. Follow me. He didn't say the line. Oi, partner! Over here! I'm just imagining that his, his catchphrase is just like... I'm getting my horse. It... <laughs> It's like, more tonight at 11, suck ball, and then he just says the line, and then it cuts to the, I don't know, the, the, uh, 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 what, news anchor? That's what it is, the news anchor. It only just occurred to me why they're called an anchor, specifically. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I, I would just like to ride my horse. I don't need to hear about all your ads. It's kind of crazy that I'm almost having to skip through ads in a Zelda game. Would you like to change the bridle? <laughs> ah! D did, you, did you hear that, partner? <laughs> B -b -b that's the voice, all right, and it's close by. That dastardly Zelda's at it again. Could it be her, though? Well, it might be, but, but, but where is it coming from? My, my legs won't move. My wings won't flap. I'd duck out of here if I could, but I can't. Barely hear the voice? If not, you do you have... Leave the RMS. I mean... Leave the RMS. What is the RMS? If not, do you harm? Okay. It's getting clearer. Oh, it's getting much clearer. I don't think I need to be on my horse. Oh, getting quieter. Quieter again. It has to be this stone. It is the stone. Leave the arms. Leave the arms. I missed the other line because it disappeared very quickly. I don't think that's Zelda. I don't think it's Zelda. But... I'm ready, let's go! Oh. <laughs> it's just someone singing. Fear it not, for you will stay warm. Huh? When did you get here? Did you need something from me? You kind of seemed evil, like a ghost. Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I've never, I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Or is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. You also heard, for if not, I'll do you harm. 
Leave your arms or I'll kill you. <laughs> what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing. And if you put it all together, seek the storm, seek the storm, fear it not, you will stay warm. It's a song about a cute little fox who is proud of their warm fur coat, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, I, but I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things either. I, I just like how my voice sounds here. Prettier, more refined. <sighs> it sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons keep getting thrown in the well every morning. <sighs> they could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. There are also some actual human arms. I don't want to chase down whose those are. Hey, that you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything. With the Pokeballs on your lapel. How does she get out? Is there a ladder? I didn't see a ladder. Oh. Out with her, partner. What did you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? No, literally just eh? a woman. <laughs> it's just someone or uh, sing, singing in a well. She's just practicing. Huh. I see. And her voice sounded uh, her echoed off the well walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. Acoustics sure are strange. And that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. <laughs> ha ha! So the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for your help, partner. Hmm. We've worked together to chase six of these stories related to Princess Zelda, and this might be the worst yet. I can already see the headline. Zelda twists innocent words into dire threats, terrorizing townsfolk. You've really got the hang of things. You could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you wanted to. Go on and add, add this to your nest egg, partner. It's a lot of money. All right, I'll rank this oh. up. I better hurry, too. We wouldn't want more people thinking the princess was casting spells from a well. After I'm done with, it, with this story, they'll know it. Until next time, partner. Balls. Balls! Okay, but that raises the question. How did she get out of the well? There is no ladder here. There's no ladder at all. Blue Moblin Smasher, a big boomerang. Um, that's there's actually some good stuff here. That's not great. I'm, I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take the big boomerang and what am I gonna put on this thing? I kind of want to make this thing crazy. Uh, can I put, I have enough of these. I'm willing to give it a shot. I wonder if this works. It, it it's kind of hard to tell, but let's find out. Let's find out. Actually, I want to talk to this lady first. I'm going to keep practicing my singing in this well. The acoustics are really nice. Maybe I could live here. Then I'd never have to walk up, wa walk to practice my singing. Oh, but with all those weapons in the way, I don't need them, so take as many as you want. I also literally can't leave here. Well, that was kind of a nothing quest, but at least it was quick. Also, I'm noticing a lot of the cuts I, I do in an episode normally are going to be quite noticeable. Like all the little loading screens that I cut out, because no matter how quick, if I use a send, I'm probably cutting out at least a couple seconds of, you know, nothing. Especially when I pull up my, my fuse menu. So, we'll see if that's especially jarring, because I make a lot of micro cuts. Does this work? <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, hi, frog. Thank you for your, your life. That, this might be one of my new favorite weapons. I mean, look at the... It just turns the entire area into a thunderstorm. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? I think we have a race that we can perform. Hey, can you... Can I be a challenger at night? Yeah. Hey, now we meet again. Maybe you've seen the horses that live around the Farren grasslands. In this new test of horsemanship skills I've come up with, riders gotta pull a trailer while competing for the fastest time. What do you say? You got the grit to step up and challenge the master? Uh, how does it work? The challenge here is to go as fast as you can without letting the cargo fall off the trailer. The course you take takes one lap around the fair and grasslands, and don't go trying to enjoy the sights. You gotta get through the ten checkpoints and across the finish line as fast as you can. 
do well and there will be some pony points in it for you. That's a good reward. How about it? You think you got what it takes? Well, shoot, fella, you can't enter a horse race without a horse to ride. Go mount up and come back to me when you're serious. Ah, brought that horse here so you could take part in a certain race, did you? You got a towing harness as well. All right, it looks like we're all set to go. I was looking at the stats between Gangle and BA, whose main is very, very intriguing. Uh, <clears throat> and apparently BA has three star towing stat and, and Gangle has two star. So back to BA. Let's do it. That ain't nothing. I'll knock the pants off you. First, we connect your horse to the trailer like this. Then we take a wooden box and put it onto the cart. Alley oop. There we go. Everything's sorted. I don't know why I made this guy cool. Or at least try hard. Ah. Now then, it's time for me to do some explaining. So, you gotta go one lap around this prairie, and you can't let the cargo fall off the trailer along the way. There are ten checkpoints all told, and if you can't cross a finish line. You can't cross the finish line until you pass through every one of them. So clear the 10 checkpoints and then hightail it back here. Simple, right? Be warned, if the cargo falls off your trailer, you fail. And no getting off your horse during the race either. Do well and there's pony points in it for you. How many depends on your time. My best time is exactly 1 minute and 0 seconds. You think you can beat that? That's all for the rules. Now, are you ready? Let's do it. That should be easy enough. I'm gonna just keep things simple. I'm not going to use any spurs to start and just get a good baseline. This is the control. It's also a good feel for me to understand how slidey this card is. I haven't used a towing harness with something that didn't have wheels. I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. It kind of feels like it's on ice, but it's manageable. It's manageable. Whoop. It's manageable, he said, moments before disaster. It's manageable. <sighs> oh my word. It's swinging a lot. That's it. Nope, I lost it. Ugh. Once it starts swinging, it just doesn't stop. It just tail spins like crazy. <sighs> okay, I have an idea. Losing money hand over fist here. Come on. I'm doing it. It's slipping a little bit. One minute. Okay. Ah, uh, slowing down was the key. That's that's how you're supposed to do that. As soon as it starts to fish tail like that, then you just drop down a, a tier of speed. I never even tried galloping. I, I don't even think that's correct. I think if you gallop, you just lose. Your time was 5740. Huh. Oh. Well, color me confounded, you beat my illustrious record. And the way you rode, it was like you and that horse were one as one in the same. I wonder if they use the Japanese word for, uh, for horse and rider as one. Is it? I think it is Japanese. Jimba Itai, I believe. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. As promised, here's three pony points. You can stand up tall and take pride in the fact you gave it a go. Aww. And not only did you beat the target time, you also beat my record. It's only right I reward this feat with a little extra something. Here, I got three more pony points for you. Wanna keep- Okay. Do we keep getting pony points? Is this a way to max out pony points? If so, I will give it another shot. Why on earth are BA's eyes so scary? I just noticed that. What does he reflect? Is he is that supposed to be the reflection of the moon? Why does he look like a demon? Oh. I don't like that. Ah. Alright, let me try it one more time. I'll get a decent time and we'll see if I get more pony points. For a second, I thought I failed that. 53 seconds. A little bit better. 
we can just, as long as we break our record, we keep getting pony points? Is that real? Okay, well, I guess I, I need to get good at this mini game. Uh, I'm gonna do this as many times as I can break my record. But not break my record by too much. You know, the crazy part about this recording session, I don't feel like I recorded that much last recording session, but because we took a week hiatus, uh, for, okay, actually, actually, you know what? For those of you who don't know, for those of you who have no idea what these supposed changes on the channel are are referring to, maybe you you just have notifications on and you click the bell and you know whenever I I release a new episode you watch it and you never visit the page. That's that's totally fine. Uh, the channel went on, or rather, this let's play specifically, not the channel, went on a brief hiatus. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa slow your roll, slow your roll. Slow your roll. I need to beat my time, but not by too much. 49, 50, 51, 52. There we go. As I kill my horse. Uh, <clears throat> the channel went on a brief hiatus, or the Let's Play went on a brief hiatus. And the reason being, uh, I decided to start streaming. So I'm, I'm doing that now, and I'm talking through a loading screen, which I try not to do. And the reason being is I, I started streaming. And since last recording session and this one, I, in last recording session, I don't know if I kept it in or not. It's been a long time since I actually edited that session. Uh, but there is a segment uh, or a portion of the recording session where I'm like, hey, I think, I, oh, you know what? I did cut it out. I did cut it out because uh, it was in, if you noticed that the segment, the shrine where um, I was having to build a minecart a weird minecart and um, use fans and platforms on rails was a little bit short. Um, like it almost felt a little bit abrupt. That's because it was. Uh, originally, I talked about how I wanted to start streaming. I'm like, I think it's going to be soon. I, I'm not exactly sure. But by that point, oh my word. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. By that point, I had already streamed like three times. And so I'm like, I don't think I need to keep this in the episode. Um, Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so I, I cut it. Pretty soon, performances like this are not going to cut it. Case in point, I'm not sure if I'm going to break my record or lose my thing. Oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't have accelerated. But I wasn't going to beat my time anyway on that one. At this point, I've streamed like eight times. And uh, none of that, that progress has made it to the actual... Um, Let's play portion of the channel, but now that's changed. Oh well, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, I I have my my camera set up, but I've never done recordings like this before, uh, and so hopefully it's gonna work. It's gonna be a little bit awkward because I do a lot of behind the scenes work every episode. Sometimes I keep I keep some of my commentary um, over the top of uh, loading screens, and I cut it in such a strange way that it overflows into the next segment, despite originally what I was talking about was like at the beginning of the loading screen, and I make it so it overflows into the end. And that's gonna be a little bit weird when I have a camera. It's definitely going to increase the, wait, 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 wait. 51, 50, go, stupid horse. I didn't break my record. Well, this'll, this'll uh, be the, the true test of whether or not breaking my record is important. It might just be that I have to get a sub one minute time, in which case, that takes a lot of burden off of me. Let's see if I get the point. I get the points anyway. It just has to beat his record. That's... Can we get... Can we grind out all of the pony point rec uh, rewards right here and right now? If so, I'm going to do it. I'll do it. I mean, I'll, I'm probably not going to commentate all of it, but I can keep talking, you know, and maybe I keep it. Maybe I don't sucks. Why am I doing this? I'm suffering. I don't even think that this minigame is bad. I just kind of hate it. It uh, It's so finicky. It's just ugh, ugh. It feels like, I mean, this thing is a wet bar of soap and the horse controls have always been good. Like, I have no problems with the horse controls. I have a problem with the tiny hills and valleys that sometimes just make this cart fly all over creation. 
like that. It's just really annoying. And like, I can, I kind of get it. I kind of understand the tail swing, but it's just not fun. <laughs> it's not enjoyable. Okay, this is my last attempt of the session. And I think only now have I realized why I don't like the minigame. It's because I have a good reaction time. I have a good enough reaction time that I can see these un events unfolding. I can see that I have already lost and that the, the cart is going to clip an edge and I'm going to lose. But because the, c the controls are so flighty, I should have kept moving. Like that, like that, Ugh. there's nothing I can do. So I just have to watch as I'm like, I recognize that it's, I'm, it's over, but it's an eternity. When you have such a, when you have a good reaction time, it's just an eternity of torment. Ah, as you have to watch this train wreck, this car crash unfold in slow motion. But I'm going to spare myself any further misery and say no. I'm gonna go change over to Gangle, and then we're going to collect our rewards. I thought that said breed horse. All right. I know that we can change our horse's mane now, but I, th I think we have a lot more than that available. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? As a reward for 16 points, you can now enjoy our main restyling per service. This will let you change the look of your horse's mane, yeah? Furthermore, as a reward for 20 points, you can now register an additional horse. There if there's a wild horse that catches your fancy, please bring it to us. Now then, to continue. For 23 points, you get a knight's sa saddle and a knight's bridle. But here's my thought. We keep getting bridles and saddles. Oh, wait. It boasts additional armor to protect the horse's head and neck. I wonder if that's functional. Huh. I wonder if we're going to be getting the ancient saddle and bridle. Extravagant saddle. I'm actually probably going to equip that on my gold horse. Yeah, thank you. Then what else? 30 points. Whatever. Additional horse, I don't care. 35 points. I don't care. 40 points. All stable fees will be permanently 50% off! Quite a rupee saver, eh? With that kind of discount, you'll be able to use our facilities that much more. Furthermore, for saving five more points, you've earned five additional sleepover tickets. I wonder if we might have capped out the rewards. If you save up just two more points, you'll get three Endura Carrots, a fancy treat for you or your horse. Uh, I don't think that's... I mean, maybe we're not in, like, radiant territory just yet. I am going to make my horse look beautiful, though. That's... Let's do this. We can color the manes? That's... Wow. Wow. That's a lot more options than there were in Breath of the Wild, if I recall. Uh, I'm gonna go with the floral mane. I think that's kinda neat. Yeah! It looks like... I mean, it's... It looks like I bought all my horse equipment in Rio. But, I mean, you can't really get more bedazzled than this, right? Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing?